Welcome to the Shrimpy YouTube channel, a place where you can learn everything about the disruptive sector of cryptocurrencies and finally start building your blockchain education. In today's video, I will talk about the mastermind behind Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin. There are many geniuses in the blockchain industry who are idolized by the community. Next to Satoshi Nakamoto, Vitalik Buterin is one of the most influential blockchain creators who succeeded in designing another layer of blockchain technology through the help of smart contracts. Contracts. But who is he? And how did he come up with the idea of Ethereum? Vitalik was born in Russia in 1994, where he spent the first six years of his life. He eventually moved to Canada after his parents decided to emigrate in search of better working conditions. From a young age, Vitarin's intelligence and academic performance were recognized by everyone. He excelled in math, programming, and even economics, which helped him move to a program for gifted children. As a consequence of his high intelligence, Buterin found it hard to talk with his peers, which forced him to become introverted and spend his time playing video games. In fact, games were a turning point for his beliefs regarding authority and centralization, because they made him realize how centralized systems can affect his life. Buterin's autobiography revealed that he was devastated when Blizzard decided to change a spell in his favorite video game, World of Warcraft. An excerpt reads, I cried myself to sleep, and on that day, I realized what horrors centralized services could bring. I soon decided to quit. Around 2011, Vitalik Buterin finally came into contact with cryptocurrencies by discovering Bitcoin. He was initially skeptical since he believed that Bitcoin could have no long-term value without physical backing. Buterin changed his mind soon after and concluded that Bitcoin is much more valuable than what he initially believed. His interest sparked a wave of online activity and hacktivism on Bitcoin forums, which eventually led him to write articles about Bitcoin for Mihai Alisi, another crypto enthusiast who he met online. His hobby turned into work after Buterin and Alessi decided to create the first major crypto news platform, Bitcoin Magazine. Writing about cryptocurrencies took so much out of his time that he decided to drop out of college in 2013 and pursue a career in the blockchain industry. Next few years were spent traveling the world and attending various crypto conferences in hopes of meeting other individuals who were interested in replacing centralized systems. If you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our crypto community. After meeting with two teams who worked on Covert Coins and Mastercoin, projects that issued tokens and contracts on top of Bitcoin, Vitalik Buterin decided to use the same concept in order to complete a Turing complete programming language. At the end of 2013, Buterin sent out a copy of the first Ethereum white paper to a number of friends. He was initially criticized for being too ambitious, but that did not prevent him from passionately working on Ethereum and building a team. Ethereum officially launched as a project in January 2014 and was co-founded by Vitalik Buterin, Joe Lubin, Mihai Alizi, Charles Hoskinson, Anthony Delorio, and Gavin Wood. To gather funds, the team held an initial coin offering which sold Ether tokens in return for funds. The ICO-based crowdfunding event amassed $16 million worth of Bitcoin, which was enough for Buterin and his crew to jumpstart the cryptocurrency by founding the Ethereum Foundation, an organization that guided and planned out Ethereum's development. Numerous versions were tested, changed, and refined. By July 2015, a stable version of Ethereum arrived to the public under the name of Frontier, a more user-friendly iteration launched in March 2016, which propelled the project to new highs both in terms of value and adoption. Exchanges began listing Ether in mass, and the number of nodes supporting the Ethereum network nearly surpassed those of Bitcoin. And the rest is history. Ethereum went on to become the second largest cryptocurrency in the entire blockchain industry and it hosted nearly all of the sector's decentralized applications. Even today, Ethereum holds strongly onto its position, and many believe that it is impossible for any other smart contract ecosystem to replace Buterin's creation. But as with any other project, Ethereum also had its bad moments during the last bull run, and some were dangerous enough to shake the project's foundations. The first dramatic event that occurred with the launch of the DAO a decentralized autonomous organization that brought a new e-governance system on the blockchain. 
During its ICO, the Dow collected $150 million from more than 11,000 investors in a historical crowdfunding round. But the trouble began the moment the project launched. A hacker discovered an exploit in the Dow's open source code, which allowed him to create a copy of the project and steal its funds. Stealing around $50 million, the security issue was dramatic enough for Ethereum to fall from $20 to $13 in a single day. Decentralization prevented the DAO's developers from making any swift decisions, so Ethereum resorted to going nuclear. The entire network hard forked, migrating to a version of Ethereum before the hack occurred. The event raised concerns about Ethereum's own decentralization, which resulted in the creation of Ethereum Classic. Although a majority of users and miners decided to join the new blockchain, some have decided to stay with the old one. The blockchain industry was shaken to the core one more time on June 25th, 2017, when online trolls from 4chan began to spread fake stories of Vitalik Buterin's death. Anonymous individuals spread rumors of a car crash incident that resulted in Ethereum losing $4 billion of its market value. The fake news forced Buterin to post a selfie to prove that he is alive, and soon after, the market retraced to its former value. The bizarre chain of events was enough for investors to realize that Buterin's existence is crucial for the blockchain industry. Without him, the dream of a scalable cryptocurrency would be gone. Everyone has joined the cryptocurrency sector for the weirdest reasons possible. In the case of Vitalik Buterin, the journey started after the developers of World of Warcraft ruined his game, resulting in a newly found interest for all things decentralized. Vitalik may not be Satoshi, but he doesn't need to be. With his expertise, bright mind, and philosophical outlook on decentralized governance, Buterin had enough of an impact on the blockchain industry to at least come near to Nakamoto's own ingenuity. With the arrival of Ethereum 2.0, Buterin has the chance to shake the industry one more time by introducing a truly scalable blockchain protocol. Will cryptocurrencies finally come close to Visa-like performance? We'll have to wait on Vitalik to give us the answer. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more crypto content. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Shrimpy App and on our blog at blog.shrimpy.io. And don't forget to head to the link in the description box to get access to our updated white paper.